Hello everyone, welcome again. We are in the new section right now and this section is going to talk about some of the tips that I've compiled that I think would help you become better at posing. So there's a lot that goes into photography and you know there's a lot that of course the photographer will take will play parts in it the picture taking the angles will play part but what do you do as a model or someone who's trying to be a model to get the best pictures out of all the shoots that you've done so stick around i'm going to share about seven or eight tips that would help you okay so now the first one which is quite important is light light is the most important part of a photo uh taking or a photo shoot or whatever light is the most important thing and i would say because you're a beginner in modeling then you can always rely on natural light like at the moment i'm using natural light natural light actually makes things look better and if you just start if you start in modeling then you just need to start using learning how to use natural light when it comes to natural lighting i always recommend for you to do your pictures you can even do them with your smartphones but you need to do them um if it's indoors you need to be um having the light falling onto you so basically right now I'm, I'm i'm looking at an open space which is the window that brings in the light so it's falling into me i'll share a picture if what happens if i have the light behind me you will get a little shadows so i'm going to share the picture right now hopefully it will be right there and so this is what it means so this is me being the light falling onto me and this is me light being you know behind me when you're indoors now when you're outdoors definitely the best time to shoot when it comes to light natural light um it has to be morning hours and evening hours so the golden hour it's always recommended because um when the when you have such time then if you can if you can still have the light falling onto you and then you take a picture but if it's during the day you know like the day is exciting mid midday you know you can when you're outside find a place with, that has a shade and because when you have light falling onto you then it's bouncing off so many places so that way you find shadows in different areas that you can't see but when you take a picture it will be seen and picture will not be very good so when you're outside and it's daytime find a place with shadow and then still apply the same what we just said right now apply the same um a trick of when you're in the shadow now make sure the light falls on you i will share an example as well i think right here um of a picture of what i what what i mean by that the next point when you're doing pictures i recommend avoid uh crazy backgrounds you know the background is very very important in your picture so when you're looking at a place and you see it's beautiful and of course the light you've already done the lighting discussion so of course the light is going to fall on you rightly and the background is beautiful yes go for it so please don't just assume because you look good then the background doesn't matter the background always matters and if, i think most of the time the, the the less clutter in your background the better okay so if you have like a wall that is one color and you have like multi you know like an african print thing like this for me it will come out more fashionable high fashion run if i take a picture of this next to like trees and stuff which i will share just now and you can see the difference so to point out a uh, clear background is better but if you want stuff in your background be very careful ensure that it blends in with what you wear okay so if you're taking a picture in a in a bar then you need to make sure your outfits or whatever your look and your style fits in that if you want to take a picture in an office then you need to be at least wearing some office wear you can't be wearing crazy crazy outfits and then you take pictures in the office and expect it to blend so the background will blend in with you guys ensure that your background plays with your style when you take a picture now when it comes to angles oh my gosh most important as well quite good so when you're doing your pictures your angles need to you need to try and practice your angles so most pictures that have you know you have to 
um, and I'll start with the men. You know, sometimes a man, you might be asked to take a picture like this, but you'll find that you can't just take a picture and look straight. You need to have some sort of like an angle. And I will, I've seen guys that, you know, they would either, you know, twist the, you twist your, your, your head a little bit. So if I'm like this, they'll twist the leg and look up and, you know, or you, so your, your, your face is at an angle or you can, you know, you can twist like this. So again, angles are important. I'm going to try and share different pictures right now of what in what I mean so like taking a picture straight and what it mean by adding a little bit of angle that it means you know you add and now you know it's you, you you I think you can see what I mean so if I'm taking a picture right now a portrait and then I go You see the difference so there is a little bit of difference so if you're going to photo shoot if you're a man or a woman and you're told take a picture and it's portrait like this i can't just stand there and go and sit like this you know i would definitely try and put angles which is you know or it can be with my hand as a girl so girls you you have you know you're lucky you can play with your hands as well more you can play with your hair for those with hair so like something like this you know So you can see like I'm trying different angles and I'm not just like, you know, straight up sitting like that. Okay. So that I'm going to share a few pictures as well that will help you um, of the difference. But I guess maybe this would help. The next one, quite, quite interesting. Also, your facial expression is really important, important, important in photo, photography. And um, you need to learn how to have different facial expressions for different shoots, okay? And some people, especially for the guys, some guys, maybe they think, when you take pictures, maybe some guys, their strength usually when they, they don't smile or some, they do smile. So you need to ensure that you have strength in both while you're smiling and you're not smiling. Because when it comes to commercials, they might ask you to be smiling and or be happy person or be a good person. And then maybe when it comes to high fashion, they'll ask you not to smile. So it's good you practice at all times. There's one thing I always recommend models to try, beginning models, try and practice um, the four faces challenge. I call it four faces challenge. What is a four face challenge? So this is me trying to practice for four face challenge. Do it on your phone. So it can be, you go to your, to, uh, to your mirror or your phone and you do a happy face. So I can do a picture as a happy face. And it can, I can do a picture as a, as a normal face. So that's different. And I can do a picture as an angry face. And I can do a picture, you can do pictures as a crazy face. You know, and like different faces. And the last one, which one is? So you go crazy, go happy, you go, you know. And sometimes I always say for women, try and smile as well. Your eyes need to have a little bit of a smile. So basically, when you, you know, I don't know if it's going to come out here, but whenever you're taking pictures, um, 
so sometimes you don't have to smile like you can just smile with your eyes so you smirk in a way that and then you let your eyes smile and everybody is different in in, um, in how they do it but try and practice it it's really good I'm going to try and share some pictures here of what I've just done this morning or some of the things that I've talked about but yeah that's uh, another point there And the next point, onto the angles. You need to learn how to pose and have different angles. You know, best pictures are usually pictures that have models that are able to put angles into it. I'm going to show you examples right here, right now. So if you sit normally, it'll be like that. And you just sit, for example, if it's a sitting uh, shoot, or maybe if it's a standing shoot, you're just standing like that, or you, without angles. And then here is when you have angles. Again, you know, it's good that when you put in some angles, actually, they, it adds some confidence in there and also it adds a lot more fashion in it when you do angles. So again, everybody's different. And for me, I always say for women, if you're wearing jeans, play with your, you know, pockets, uh, play with your, um, you know, play with your hair, play with your, you know, whatever it is that you have. In. And for the guys as well, you know, you can just slowly you know it's not as you can slowly slowly move but the other point that comes into it as well you you need to be very natural when you do your pictures very very natural and hence i say when you practice it becomes natural because if you fake it it's seen on the camera so that's the next point natural be natural use natural light be natural as well when you take pictures and natural pictures are the best so models who are good at doing this uh, shoots are actually models that would do it so naturally even if they do a random pose it would be so natural so I can be like you know instead of like I'm gonna show you some pictures of I'll actually show you a video just now of what I mean by being natural you can even be walking you can do a fake catwalk walk and just look on the side and look like this and then it's natural and the photographer would get this picture and it can even be used for marketing purposes and next one is your style you need to have a good style. You need to ensure that your style, when you're doing photography, have a style. If you say you want to be high fashion model, have high fashion outfits and then when you do your photo shoot. Don't just go with any picture, with any outfit and assume the picture's gonna come out. It's very important that you need to focus on your style and you need to be stylish as the way you are outside then you need to be stylish in your shoots as well very very important the last the last tip i'm going to give you is selfies are very important i know this sounds a bit weird but selfies are very important for you to be able to practice your facial expressions your body angles and you know you need to always always try and do as many selfies as possible and everywhere you go you know whenever you go somewhere and you see it's a beautiful place and you look beautiful take a picture take a picture you never know so always have this habit of taking and only keep the best ones okay keep the best ones and that is what i would leave you with actually so i hope you've learned i hope this lesson has been really really um uh, it's really helped you and i hope again with modeling you'd still need to do the work yourself practice 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 we I, we can give the tips i can give the tips but at the end of the day it's you to actually go out there and start working on it and it's only when you actually practice then you get the experience that's needed that someone might end up spotting you or you'll be able to slay in the castings so good luck and see you in the next lecture bye